Aleyhisselam. Namazı okurken kulakların duyacağı kadar bir şekilde bir ses de oku diyor. Our beloved Prophet peace and blessings be upon him said that during prayer when you recite the Quran you should pay attention that you should only read as loud as you yourself can hear it with your ears. Çok fazla yükseltme. You should not raise your voice too much during the recitation of Quran while you stand in prayer. Just read as loud so that you yourself can hear it, not louder. Do not raise your voice to the extent that you disturb the others standing next to you. Sometimes people recite the Quran during prayer while standing in prayer so loud that they disturb others that stand next to them to the extent that they mix up what they recite. Biraz sonra dünyadan ayrılacak bir kimse gibi o şu içinde kılacağın namaz gibi namaz kıl. And when you perform your prayer, perform your prayer in a way as if it were your as if it were your last prayer and as if it were the prayer you performed last before leaving this world. Yani insan dünyayı bırakıp ölecek gibi son namazı gibi kılsın diyor Peygamber Efendimiz. O huşu içinde o... Our beloved Prophet peace and blessings be upon him says that when we perform prayer we should perform each prayer prayer as if it were, was, were our last prayer and as if as if we were going to leave this world and we should pray perform prayers with full consciousness and God, God awareness. Onu dünya meşgul etmesin diyor. And therefore we should not preoccupy ourselves with thoughts about this world during prayer. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا سمعت من نداء فقول مثل ما يقول المؤذن صلى الله عليه وسلم ki ezan etçiniz zaman mezine dediklerini tekrar ediniz. Our beloved Prophet peace and blessings be upon him stated that when you hear the muaddin then re- then repeat what the muaddin recites. Yani tekbir et şehadet peygamber şehadetini bu tür arka arka mezin bitirince onun gibi söyleyin. When you hear the muaddin recite the adhan you, you shall repeat the statements and you shall repeat what the muaddin recites. Onun şeylerde o hayal, salah hayal falan onlarda da la havla çekeceksiniz. So when it comes to Reciting Allahu Akbar, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu Muhammad Rasulullah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You may repeat those as the muaddin has recited them, and when he recites Hayal al-Salah, you shall repeat La Hawla wa La Quwwata illa bil Alal Azim. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا سمعت من ذا فقوموا فإنها عزمة من الله. هيا من صلى الله عليه وسلم ذيوريك. Ezanı işittiğiniz zaman namaz için kalkın. When you hear the azan, our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, says, stand up for prayer. Çünkü o Allah'tan kesin bir çağrıdır. Stand up when you hear the azan, because the azan is a call from Allah Almighty. Allah Azze ve Celle sizi çağırıyor. Onun için ona... Allah Almighty calls on you when the adhan is being recited. Edin diyor. And therefore you must follow this call. Ezan manası odur da. And that is the meaning of adhan. It is the call to Allah Almighty. Kâle Resulullah sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem Eda semi'aten nida fe'eceb da'i Allah buyuruyor ki ezanı şiddetin zaman Allah'ın davetçisine müezzin çağrısına icabet ed. Our beloved Prophet peace and blessings be upon him says that when you hear the adhan you hear the invitation of Allah Almighty and when you hear that invitation you are obliged to follow and to accept and follow that invitation. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا سمعتم الأذن فقول مثل ما يقول ثم صلوا عليه فإنه من صلى عليه صلاة صلى الله عليه بها عشرا ثم سألوا الله لي وسيلة فإنها منزلة في الجنة لا تنبغي إلا العبد من عباد الله وأرجو أن أكون أنا هو فمن سأل لي الوسيلة حلت عليه الشفاعة 
Peygamber sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem buyuruyor ki müezzin ezan okuduğunu işittiğiniz zaman onun söylediklerini aynen aynısını siz de söyleyiniz. Our beloved Prophet peace and blessings be upon him states that when you hear the muezzin recite the adhan you shall receive the statements the muezzin recites. Müezzin, müezzin vazifesi başka onun divanların vazifesi onun The muezzin has a duty But those who hear what the Muaddin recites, the listeners have a duty too. Yeah. And the duty of those who hear the Adhan, those who hear what the Muaddin recites, are have the duty to repeat. Sonra bana salamat getiriniz. Then, after the completion of the Adhan, recite peace and blessings upon me. Send salah, salam. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, says. Yani şimdi ezan bittikten sonra As-salatu selamu aleyke Resulallah diye e, eskiden bütün camilerde yapılırdı. In former times it was tradition throughout all mosques that after the completion of the adhan peace and blessings upon the prophets peace upon the prophet peace and blessings be upon him were recited right after the adhan. Bu şeyler Vehhabiler seleflerin izinden onu yapılmıyor. But because of those Vehhabis and Salafis The believers have been deprived of of these blessings of reciting blessings upon the Prophet after the Adhan. They say it's not permissible, but there you go. It is a hadith by our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, and it is him stating explicitly to recite blessings and peace upon him after the Adhan. Daha şey okuyoruz diyor. O okuma başka, bu salat selam başka. O şey. They say, but we do recite a supplication after the completion of the adhan. But that supplication is different. You sh- you need to recite after the adhan, salatu salam upon the prophet, peace be upon him, and then you may perform the supplication that is dedicated to this adhan. Neden soru? Salat selam neden soru okunur o? But this supplication dua after the adhan is to be recited after having sent peace and blessings upon the prophet so there is a difference between the dua that comes after the adhan and the salat to salam that is to be recited after the adhan first you recite the adhan Then you recite salatu salam upon the Prophet, peace be upon him, and then you recite the dua. Başta olması lazım. Bütün dünyada okunurdu. Şimdi çok az yerlerde okunuyor. Throughout the entire world, salatu salam used to be recited upon the Prophet after the adhan, but now there are only a few places where this is still being practiced. Çok nadir yerlerde o şey okunuyor. Ondan mahrum oluyor insanlar. Çünkü kim bana bir defa salavat getirirse Allah buna karşılık ona on defa rahmet eder. And now in most places generally the salatu salam after the adhan is not being recited and people are deprived of the blessings that emerge from reciting peace and blessings upon the Prophet. Because our beloved Prophet peace and blessings be upon him says that the one who recites Salatu salam once will be rewarded ten times. Yani bu rahmetler bütün insanları mahrum ediyorlar bu. And now by not reciting salatu salam they are depriving people of that mercy from Allah Almighty. Benim için Allah'ın vesilesi, vesileyi dileyin. Allah'tan vesileyi dileyin. Vesile cennete bir makamdır ki Allah'ın karar kullarından sadece bir tanesine nasip olur. And our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, states that after the Adhan, after having recited Salatu Salam upon the Prophet, make supplication and ask and ask for me to be the one who receives the station of Vasila. Yani Peygamber biz Vasila makamı tek bir insana nasip olur diyor. Peygamber Efendimiz tevazunundan da diyor. The station of Vasila to be the intermediate is dedicated to just one onun ben olacağını ümit ederim 
And out of his humility, our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, says that I hope that I will be the one who will receive that station of Basila to be that intermediate one. <coughs> Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, is the one who has shown humility the most. And those who pray for me, our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, says, who pray for me to become the one who will obtain the station of Wasila, who will be that intermediate, that person who prays for me on my behalf, he will be the one who will receive my intercession and I will be obliged to intercede on his behalf. That station of Basila, that is for our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, no one else. But nevertheless, even though it is his station, he has instructed us to pray for him on his behalf so that he will be the one who will be on that station. And by praying, by making these prayers on his behalf, our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, makes us for us, makes a means for us to ob obtain his intercession because as our beloved Prophet peace be upon him stated that his intercession will be mandatory and and he our beloved Prophet will be obliged to intercede on behalf of the one who has prayed for him to receive that station. <laughs> Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, says that when the Mu'adhin recites the Adhan for prayer, the gates of heaven will open. And the supplications that are then made will be accepted. So when you're reciting supplications while the Adhan is being recited, those supplications are more acceptable. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, says that when the Adhan, the call for prayer is being recited, the gates of heaven will open and the supplications that are then made will be accepted. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, says that there are four instances, four, four places where the gates of heaven will be opened and the prayers, the supplications will be accepted. There are four instances, four places, when the gates of heaven will open and the supplications will be accepted. It is the moment when of fight, when the believers stand in one row. That is the moment when, that is one of the four moments or places when the gates of heaven will open and prayers will be accepted. <laughs> The second time or instance is when when it rains. It is when it rains. It's also a time where supplications are more acceptable. And when the ikama for prayer is being recited, 
That is the third instance. O da işte bu namazın e, ezanın hürmetine. Bir de Kabe'yi görüldüğü zaman. And the fourth instance when the, the gates of heaven will open up and the prayers will be heard and the supplications will be accepted is the prayer or supplication that is being made at sight of the Kaaba. Kabe'yi gördüğün zaman dua edersen o dua da makbul olur. When you see the Kaaba and you make a prayer at the sight of the Kaaba that is the instance or the, one of those moments when Allah Almighty when your prayers or supplications will be more acceptable. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الدعاء لا يرد بين الأذان والإقامة حينما صلى الله عليه وسلم بيرير كي إذان وإقامة وإقامة على صلاح فلان دعاء رد رد الموز Our beloved Prophet peace and blessings be upon him says that the supplications the prayers that are made in between the Adhan and the Iqama will not be rejected قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الدعاء بين الأذان والإقامة مستجاب فدعوا حينما صلى الله عليه وسلم بيرويه كي إذان وإقامة على صلاة فلان دعاء قبول أدلر مستجاب له Our beloved Prophet peace and blessings be upon him reiterates that the supplication and prayer that is made in between the Adhan and the Iqama will be accepted therefore make supplications during that time of course it's always time to pray and to supplicate but there are certain time frames and certain places or instances or moments when your supplications will be more acceptable than during other times or in other places. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الدعاء مستجاب بين النداء والإقامة. فيا من صلى الله عليه وسلم بيرير كي جنا إذن وإقامة رسنا فلان دعاء قبول أدلر. Now beloved prophet peace and blessings be upon him reiterates that the prayer or supplication that is made between the adhan and the iqama will be accepted. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم عند أذان المؤذن يستجاب الدعاء فإن كان الإقامة لا ترد دعوته. يا من صلى الله عليه وسلم مأذن أذان أقول كان يا فلان دعاء قبول أدلر. Our beloved Prophet peace and blessings be upon him says that a prayer or supplication that is being read during the time when the muadzin recites the adhan will be accepted. بدا قامة وقتنا ده هيش بيردوا ردوا الماز. and also when the ikama is recited the prayers or supplications made during that time will also not be rejected. قال صلى الله عليه وسلم من سمع المؤذن فقال مثل ما يقول فله مثل أجره. قال صلى الله عليه وسلم بيرير كي كم مأذن أذان أخذوه işitir ve müezzinin dediği gibi derse onun gibi sevap alır. Our beloved Prophet peace be upon him says that whoever hears the muezzin and then repeats what the muezzin says will be obtaining the rewards the muezzin receives. Müezzinin geçen hafta okuduğumuz gibi sevabı çok büyüktür. Last time we heard about the blessings and the rewards of being the muezzin and being the one who recites the adhan. Onun için ona nasıl ulaşırız diye herkes ezan okuyamıyor. And you may have wondered how to obtain those rewards because not everyone can be the muezzin. Onun yediği gibi oturduğun yerden ayakta sen muezzin ne diyorsa onun arkasında aynısın diye onun ecrini, sevabını kazanmış olursunuz. And the way to receive the rewards of the muezzin is when one hears the adhan while whether while one is sitting or while one is standing and then repeats what the muadhin recites then that person will be receiving the same rewards قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم البسيلة درجة عند الله ليس فوقها درجة فسر الله يؤتين الوسيلة فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بيرور كي وسيلة الله قاتندا بير درجة كي our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, says that the station of Basila is a station 
in the divine presence. Ondan daha üstün bir derece yoktur. And there's no higher station than that station of Vasila than the station of the intermediate. And en üst derece bu tek bir insanı Allah Azze ve Celle onu verecek. O da Efendimiz Peygamber Sallallahu Aleyhi ve Sellem olduğu için. That station of Vasila, the station of the intermediate one, that station is reserved to only one, to our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. Allah'tan bana vesile vermesini isteyin. Now, beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, pray for me so that Allah Almighty may give may give me that station of Vasila. Yani şimdi çoğu zaman insanlar ve ezandan sonra okunan duaları şey yapıyor ama vesile nedir de hiç kimse haber yok. People they hear the adhan and then they make the dua after the adhan but they are unaware of the importance of that prayer and what it means and the importance of the station of vasila. O en yüksek derece o da Peygamber Efendimizin derecesidir. In this supplication we pray for our beloved prophet peace and blessings be upon him to obtain the station of Vasila, which is the highest station and which is solely reserved to our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him. And it is through our beloved Prophet's reaching that station and him being the intermediate one to intercede on us on the Day of Judgment.